Cool. Well, how you guys doing first, man? I mean, how's how's the <clears throat> you guys are still on tour, right? You know? Uh, yeah, we just oh. finished a little run, but uh, we're home for a few days. Mm-hmm. And then uh, heading back out. Very cool. Oh, there you go. You're back. Yeah, I was just asking how the tour was. I mean, I'm sure you guys were so excited. You know, tours are finally coming back, and all of a sudden, this Delta variant popped up, and now it's like this roller coaster ride of you know trying to get yeah, tours going. Been, pretty much, man. We're just kind of along for the ride, like doing as best as we can to like you know stay safe as possible and keep the show rolling while we can. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, it's, this tour was kind of supporting your new single, Gemini. I mean, uh, can you talk about like the, it's a great song, by the way. Uh, talk about like the writing process and recording that great song. Um, yeah, like we were just kind of doing sessions with our producer over like FaceTime. And uh, we came up with this kind of like funky, like Tame Impala kind of vibe, like disco Tame Impala. And like, I just kind of started singing this like, light falsetto stuff over it that just sounded very like throwback and it all started to like fall together and we're like oh wow I think we just wrote like a dance song um and that was kind of it we're like this is cool let's run with it nice a- anything to add call or no it was just kind of different from whatever we've done in the past so it was cool you know yeah well, uh, I saw on your social media, I guess you guys did, uh, I guess it was a photo shoot, a, like a ski ball area. And uh, someone was like playing ski ball, but not roll, didn't know how to roll the ball. <laughs> like, what was that all about? Oh, yeah. That was, uh, yeah. yeah, we got we got some cheaters in our band, I guess, at the ski ball game. Jared, <laughs> uh, Jared's just not very good at games in general. So I think that he just saw the shortcut of throwing the balls in the hole instead of actually playing the game. It was working for him, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so he he was having a good time. Um, was that like part of a music video? Or was it like just a photo shoot? You guys were there. It was yeah. just like a photo shoot that we did, and it was nice because usually photo shoots are relatively boring, but this one had ski balls, so we took advantage of that. <laughs> it was something to do. Uh, well, speaking of social media, uh, at one point, Novocade was trendy on Twitter, and a lot of your fans were, like, posting links to your big hit, you know? Do, do you know what the story was? Like, wh- why was Novocade, like, trendy on Twitter, you know? I have no idea. I saw that yesterday. I was like, what? Okay. But People just, I guess it was about Novocade and the drug, like, the actual Like, drug. the dentist, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's an, it's an old drug, so I'm not really sure exactly why it was trending, but, you know, whatever. We'll take take what we can get when we can get it for sure yeah. <laughs> well speaking of novocade uh you know i i, I used to work for russell music save lives he'd tell me a story i can't remember if it was his son jared or someone else in the band it was actually at a dentist and the dentist had novocade and I was one of their on their playlists they had in the office and they had no idea who was in the band <laughs> was it you or was it jared or <laughs> I don't know who that was. I don't know who that was. Jared. Yeah. It must have been Jared, but I think I think that's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. awesome. Apparently, they don't use uh, uh, Novocaine anymore and haven't for a while. It's Lidocaine. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. But that just yeah, doesn't, doesn't, quite doesn't work for the song as well. No, it doesn't sing as well. Lidocaine. Yeah. Lidocaine. Yeah. <laughs> Not as cool. <laughs> maybe, maybe that'll be the follow-up. Yeah, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking, you know, if it works. <laughs> well uh i do want to ask one throwback question I, I a couple months ago i got to interview jared from dirty heads and i talked about you know the song celebration you know do you have any fun stories back from 2017 you know collaborating on that song music video and you guys toured with them back then i believe too right we did yeah it was uh it was pretty fun like it was great for us they've got like a massive fan base and their fans are like pretty like into partying and having fun which is very much our vibe so it was cool we like did a whole run with them um unfortunately i had a broken foot so i was on like this peg leg thing it's called the eye walk it's like a peg leg that goes down uh where your foot should be so i was kind of running around stage with this peg leg gave me kind of some like pirate vibes so the crowd would chant pirate occasionally which is pretty uh (laughs) Which is very dirty heads ish because I was gonna of, say that's very yeah. dirty heads crowd. <laughs> yeah. I got that C vibe, anyways. Uh, the video was cool though. Um, they asked for like a bunch of like 
pictures of everyone in the fan like everyone's like families like growing up because the song has got like a family theme to it because it's about some guy like basically like addressing his like mother and being on the road and like all the wayward you know rock star problems um but yeah overall it was a pretty good experience yeah we did the tour the song the video and it was it was a fun little era very nice so uh, what's next for you guys? I mean, you could be uh, any new singles and a music video for Gemini or a new EP album. Yeah, we know? just finished shooting the video uh, for Gemini. So that should be out in the next month or so. And we got an album that's done. We just don't have a release date yet. Yeah. It was, it was kind of waiting for like a tour or maybe, or you just don't know if we're released it yet. Yeah. Sorry. It's more, more than likely it's going to be next year. We were trying to get it out this year, but like it just didn't work out. Yeah. I guess so we're just going to wait next year. We've got a tour in January and we'll probably like, yeah, I'm not sure what we're doing. It's coming out though. It'll, it'll happen. <laughs> It's always we say, we say we say that every year next year. Yeah. <laughs> well, what could what can you tease about the album? Is it more kind of like a fun, funky like Gemini, or is it more like kind of like your other old stuff? You know, it's kind of all over the place. Over the place. Like yeah. literally, it's just like a little bit of like everything, which is maybe like weird and maybe cool. Like there are songs on there that sound like you know like a kid cuddy song there's songs that sound like marcy's playground there's oh, sounds nice. songs that sound like aha there's songs that like uh sound garage like, rock like, like, world like it's it's kind of got a little bit of everything sounds like the Very gorillas cool. it's like literally every song has kind of got its own little world so it's just kind of like a, oh i love albums like that man <laughs> yeah it's like I don't, I don't know what else like kind of like compare it to besides like kind of like a Beatles thing where they like mm-hmm. shift genre to genre song by song like I just we have a lot of influences and we like don't really hold anything back so it's just like all those little characters and influences we just kind of let them come through well very cool guys well thank you take your time talk to me and uh can't wait to see the music video for Gemini when it gets released and uh good luck hopefully touring down some point you know yeah, man, yeah. we're going. We're still going. So. We're still out there. Go get tickets. Awesome, guys. All right, man. Thank you, guys. Thanks for so having much. us, man. Have a good Take one. Take care.